What's up guys? Kristen from Anime Collective here. I got a new monthly manga haul for you guys. A lot of new manga arrived, so I have a lot of new manga recommendations for you, so stay tuned. That all being said, let's get into it. First up are all of the continuing volumes I'm collecting. So first up, I got in Gagant Volume 7, which is Hiroya Oku's latest. Dead Mount Death Play 7 also came in. This one's a cool death game series I recommend checking out. Next up is Triage X Volume 22, which is by one of High School of the Dead's creators. Goblin Slayer Year 1 is a side story I'm keeping up with, and Volume 6 just came in. I also picked up Smoke and Parade Volume 9 by the creators of Demi and Wonderland. Marshall 5 also arrived. This one is hilarious, so I'm continuing to get the volumes. Fire Force 26 is up next. This is yet another awesome cover by Atsushi Okubo. I absolutely love his aesthetic. I also got My Hero Academia 30. Dobby is one of my favorite characters in the series, so this is a new favorite cover of mine. Chainsaw Man is another I'm of course getting as it releases and 10 just arrived. Kaiju number 8 is a new series I'm loving. I've really enjoyed it so far, so I picked up volume 2. Hina Matsuri is one of my favorite sci-fi as well as comedies. Volume 14 just came in this month. I also picked up Mars Red Volume 2. I tend to enjoy anything with vampires in it, so I gotta pick these up as well. Berserk of Gluttony Volume 5 is up next. If you are into dark fantasy with unique power systems, this is one to check out. I also picked up Spy Family Volume 7. The anime just released and it's been fun seeing it in action on screen. The manga is one of my favorites. It's hilarious, but also action-packed and heartwarming. I also got in Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt Volume 17, one of my favorite Gundam manga series to release recently, so I'm picking these up as they come out. No Guns Life Number 12 also recently released. I love cyberpunk settings, so I'm glad I got into this one. Hell's Paradise 13, which is the final volume of the series, also came in. Record of Ragnarok Volume 2 also arrived. This one may end up becoming a new top series of mine. Persona 5 Memento's Mission Volume 2 got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of this one because I also did that for the first one as well. Next, we have Fist of the North Star Volume 4. I'm enjoying Fist of the North Star more and more with each volume I read. I also picked up Volume 15 of Jujutsu Kaisen, which is one of my favorite new shonens. And finally, we have Berserk Deluxe Edition 10. As always, I enjoyed rereading and experiencing the chapters again in this new format. These next ones are all a series I've started collecting, but I am working to complete. I found more Black Cat volumes, volumes 5 and 6 at half price finally. I love Kentaro Yubuki's works. He recently illustrated The Darling and the Franks Omnibuses, which I reviewed on the channel if you'd like to check it out. But Black Cat is my favorite of his so far. Siren 3, 5, 7, and 8 were half price finds as well. These have been out of stock for a while, so I was happy to find these on the shelf. Siren is one of my favorite shonen, so I've been working on completing these. I think I only have one more to go and the set will be complete. I also picked up School Live Volume 2. I only have one and two right now, but plan on getting the rest of these soon. I love zombie stories, and this one's really unique, so I'm looking forward to picking it up. I also got No Game No Life number two. I picked up one not too long ago, so I have all of the volumes that have been released so far. Probably my favorite Izakai to release to date. Although this next one is up there too, The Eminence in Shadow. I got volume one not too long ago and loved reading it, so I picked up two and three this month. It's a hilarious, self-aware Izakai that lightheartedly pokes at the genre. Sid is an amazing character too because he is the shadow character rather than a hero MC as seen in most Izakai. Working on completing Batum also, this one has been a journey but found 17 and 23 on in-stock trades. I think I have eight more volumes to track down and I'll have them all, trying to be patient because the rest I need are expensive right now, but difficult to do so because Batum is one of my favorites. Maji is a series I recently got into. I've heard amazing things about it, so I decided to pick it up, found volumes 3, 5 through 7, and 37 recently. I'm anxious to pick up the remaining volumes when they go back in stock because I'm really looking forward to reading it. Tracking down the case study of Vanitas volumes whenever I can too. Volume 5 restocked in store at Barnes & Noble, so I picked it up there. And finally, My Dress Up Darling Volume 1 arrived. I picked up 2 and 4 recently. These have been harder to find as of late, so I'm hoping I'll be able to track down Volume 3 soon. Now onto the new series I got into collecting and reading this month. I've been in search of Blood Plus volumes for quite some time, and I finally found Volume 4 at half price for a really good price. It's out of print, so it's difficult and more expensive to find, so here's hoping I can track down the rest at a decent price. 
I also found Trigun Omnibus 1 at half price. This is another one I've been trying to track down for ages since it's out of print. I'm really, really hoping for deluxe editions of Trigun someday. I also found Monster Hunter Orage 1 and 2 at half price for really good prices. I enjoy Hiro Mashima's work, so I wanted to pick this one up as well. I was super excited to find this next one at half price books, Sandland by Akira Toriyama, who you probably already know as the creator of Dragon Ball as well as Dr. Slump. It's only one volume, so it's a quick read and it's set in a world of drought where demons and humans coexist. Sounded interesting and I enjoy his other works, so I picked it up. You guys probably know by now that I love Ogre's manga, but I also love vampire stories that have a unique spin, so of course I had to pick up Bakemonogatari. I've been meaning to get into this one for a long time, and I finally decided to just take the plunge and pick up all of the volumes that have been released so far. The art is incredibly, unbelievably beautiful in this series as expected from Ogre, and from what I've read so far, it seems to have a compelling story too. I'm interested to see how it compares to the anime as well, because the anime is one of my favorites. Alice in Borderlands' first volume finally came in from Right Stuff. This is one of my most anticipated new manga releases of 2022. I absolutely love Alice in Borderland. It's in my top 10, and I'm excited to finally be able to collect the series with English translation. The story is set in a post-apocalyptic type world where a life-changing game called Borderland forces players to fight for their survival. There are quite a few manga in the death game category now, but for me, Alice in Borderland manages to stand out from the rest with its unique concept and games. I also got into collecting High Rise Invasion. High Rise Invasion is an action horror manga about Yuri Hanjo, a girl who finds herself trapped in a strange world where masked people hunt you down on high rise buildings using bizarre weapons. I'm glad I'm finally picking it up because it's full of suspense, anxiety inducing situations, and interesting characters. The masks and character designs are really cool too. I'm always on the lookout for unique and good Izakai, and Yakuza Reincarnation seemed like it would be both. After reading the first volume, I'm looking forward to getting more. It's about a rough around the edges, tough and older Yakuza member who has re reincarnated into a princess's body in a fantasy world. It's a refreshing entry in Izakai, and the art is awesome too. I saw Vampires in HE and I was sold on Gumbaird Sisters. Sometimes that's all it takes for me to get into a series, but it's also got a gothic feel to it that I love as well. It's about a warrior nun and a half vampire who hunt down supernatural creatures, and it's by the artist of Gargantia on the Verderous Planet manga too, which interested me as well. Succubus and Hitman is one that people seem to either love or not like at all, but the premise and art appealed to me, so I decided to pick it up in Barnes & Noble. I always make my own decisions on series, and I'm glad I did because I really enjoyed the first volume. Not only is it by the creators of Magical Girl Spec Ops Asuka, but it's a revenge story as well. In it, the main character is killed, but he lives on in the body of a kid who made a pact with a succubus. As long as he serves as her personal hitman, he can get revenge on the individuals that killed him as well as his family. All around, I'm really just loving this one. It's a bloody action-packed and entertaining read so far. The Voynich Hotel is one I've always seen recommended by fans of horror manga and I've continuously heard amazing things about it. After reading Volume 1, I can say that it has a very eerie feel to it. It's a very quirky, moody, and mysterious read, almost like the Twilight Zone mixed with Black Mirror or something. I'm looking forward to picking up the remaining volumes of this one when I find them. I also picked up the first volume of Dragon Quest The Adventure of Die in-store at Barnes & Noble. I like the art, it kind of has the same look as something like Dragon Ball, and it looked interesting so I decided to get it. Let's Play is one of my favorite manhwa. I was in Barnes & Noble one day and just so happened to stumble upon it on the shelf. I had absolutely no idea that it's being printed with English translation, so this was an awesome surprise. It's not often that I love romance, but this one hooked me. It's about a video game developer who releases a new game and a streamer who scathingly reviews said game and tanks her sales that end up living next door to one another and falling in love. It's funny but also sweet, and with gaming being a big theme in this series, it captured but also maintained my attention. Sakamoto Days Volume 1 is finally here. I have been anxiously awaiting its arrival because it's such a fun and action-packed series, but it also has lovable characters. I am pretty much into anything that involves assassins, so I was going to get this one no matter what, but it's also really good. Noragami is a series I'm surprised I didn't have in the collection already, but it finally is now with the arrival of volumes 2 through 23. I picked up one in store at BNN not too long ago, but picked up the rest when they went on sale. I have a feeling this could be a new favorite manga of mine. I enjoyed the anime and absolutely fell in love with the story as well as the characters and it's emotional yet funny. 
That being said, I heard the manga is even better than the anime, so I'm excited to read it. Gintama is my number one shonen of all time. I've already read it, but for some reason never collected it physically until now. I stumbled upon a lot of the volumes at half price one day and had to get them. It's absolutely hilarious, but it's also a well-balanced series that is chock full of side splitting as well as action-packed panels, but it has relatable characters and moments that connect with you on a deeper level too. Plus, it's set in an interesting sci-fi world and has some of the best world building in all of Shonen. This next one, the Claymore Complete Box Set, is one I couldn't be happier to finally have. I think I had this one on order for 8 months at Write Stuff and it finally came in. I know a lot of us were in the same boat with this one, so it's exciting to see it finally shipping out. Claymore is one I've already read and I absolutely love. It's one of my top series of all time, but I wanted to get the physical copy so I can reread the series. This box set has one of the most beautiful designs I've ever seen, too. And there you have it, guys. That is all of the manga I picked up in the month of April. What about you? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.